Hi guys, I'm Chantel and <laughs> you can only see about half of my library hall here. I'm going to, you know, like move this wobbly pile and so that it's not so precarious and then we'll talk about what books I got recently. Okay, also, I decided to wear my book stack t-shirt in honor of my stacks of library books here. I evened it out here. We've got two stacks that are about Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen-ish books each. Um, I said this in my last library haul. I think I have a problem with requesting all the books when I watch a video with a booktuber and the cover looks nice or gorgeous, and their ex or and or it's not always both. Um, if their explanation sounds really interesting or honestly just if they really liked it, I just request all the books. I employ, I'm sure, a full librarian in my library. Um, also, first of all, I can have a hundred books out at a time. Second of all, um, I can request books from all over my province, so these books come from everywhere. Uh, my actual library, my local library, doesn't have a ton of books. Most of these come from other libraries throughout my province. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to be fairly brief and tell you the little bit I know about the books. If you've been here at all, you probably know I don't like to know a ton about books um, going into them, but I also know like obviously you want to know a little bit, so I'll try to know a little bit and tell you about it. Uh, first of all, um, this one we'll start with The Toll. This was a re-pickup because I got this in October and I was supposed to read it in October. It was on my TBR. And then I don't know what happened. There was like a glitch on my library site and this all of a sudden it had to go back and when I saw it, it had to go back the next day and I was supposed to have it for a couple more weeks. So I had to get this out and I need to prioritize this book for sure. Uh, this is, uh, what is it? It's like a dystopian, yeah, it's like a dystopian young adult book. I read the first two books. Um, it's in a world where people can't die and they have scythes who can, who have to kill a certain amount of people each year. Um, and this is the third book in this series. Another one I got out a while ago and then re-got because it's as bright as heaven. Now, I have heard so many good things about this book and I just, I couldn't get to it last time. Honestly, based on the other books that are here, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this time. Um, my plan this month is actually for December to have a TBR that is both my library and my owned books together. Um, I'm going to try that because I don't know why. I'm just going to make the one TBR, I think, because I have so many books I want to read. This is a World War II fiction, I believe. Don't know anything other than that. Don't even know if that's right, uh, but I've heard such good things. Then I have The Chemist. This is by Stephanie Meyer. Um, try to do it so that it's not glary with these library covers. I recently got out The Host from her. Haven't read it yet either, but so many people have talked about it. So, and like told me in the comments that it was really good or it really stuck with them or whatever. So I really want to get to that. But here's my question. If you had to choose between the host or the chemist, which one's better? Um, Cause I don't think I can get to both of them and I need to prioritize whichever one's better. Okay, then let's go to this stack here for a bit. I totally got this because of the cover. I think that I got this or saw this originally either from Kaylin Abridged or Life With Live. I don't know. I think they both have, have this book. Um, it's Fable, and this is in, right, a 17-year-old Fable. Her mother has drowned during an unforgiving storm. The next day, her father abandoned her on a legendary island filled with thieves and little food. To survive, she must keep to herself, learn to trust no one, and rely on the unique skills her mother taught her. Um, she enlists the help of a trader, and they go to find her father, and there's something, I think I read something about pirates, maybe? I don't know, but it sounds amazing. The cover looks amazing. I really want to read this one as soon as possible. Also, it kind of makes me want to like dye my hair like a bright red because that just looks fabulous. Then I have The Killing Tide by Danny Petri. Um, this one, uh, Oshina talks about this author quite a bit and this is the first book in their Coastal Guardians series. This is romantic suspense. I am a little worried that this will be like the typical romantic suspense, Christian romantic suspense but I want to give it a try. Plus, I really like this cover, so it's worth a shot. Oh yeah, and uh, once again, I will maybe put a screenshot of how much I have saved from the library so far this year. Um, they do two tallies. One, like how much you saved on this current haul and how much from the entire year. 
these two books are from like two weeks worth of going to the library so my total for the week isn't correct but my like total for the year is usually interesting especially this year when you consider the library was closed for like what four or five months um then i have dust this is a peter pan retelling of sorts i think this one i have seen in like christian um like the christian book flyers and stuff i don't know if there is like a christian spin on this or not but i'm really curious um i have not heard the most amazing things about it but once again like that cover i really want to try this one then i got uh the promised neverland i think i heard this one from kaylin one of kaylin's videos um i don't read a lot of graphic novels or whatever these are with the backwards cover honestly i don't even know what they're called so like you know at least i'm not wearing my book smart shirt um yeah i don't know it just looked cute um i thought i would give it a try it's definitely different than what i normally read but i don't know this one um right there are three kids who are the brightest kids at this orphanage and they're under a care under the care of a woman they refer to as mom so one day though they uncover the dark truth of the outside world they are forbidden from seeing sounds interesting to me anytime there's orphans or orphanages or foster care my heart is like totally sucked into that so uh i don't think this one would take very long to read i'm pretty sure i could like guarantee to get the, to this in december oh and then also on like the graphic graphic novel yeah that's gonna happen on the graphic novel front here i got witchy and i don't remember oh yes this is the strength of your magic is determined by the length of your hair that sounded interesting to me um and because graphic novels are so short this one honestly has like very few words i feel like that would be an easy read actually i'm planning on doing the tis the season -a -thon in december and i've learned i've learned that i need to read or pick shorter books for readathons and i wonder if those would fit any of the prompts i actually don't remember what the prompts are but oh well um this is also maybe would be another good one for a readathon because it's these are fast reads this is caught in the act now i went and i requested all the books that came after the one that i read last month which was called was it caught in the middle is that the first one i don't know why i can't caught in the middle is first and then caught in the act yeah okay so this is book two um, i requested all four books so they should the rest of them should be coming in um this is romantic suspense but i was impressed because um our characters seem so real and yeah so we will follow them this time and there is a supp supposed killer the mary kramer was on the trail of the supposed killer when she uncovered more murder suspects than she ever thought possible an ex-wife an ex-girlfriend and suspicious business associates nothing added up so i enjoyed the first book so i'm curious to keep going here on that topic of continuing a series i got midnight in madrid this is one of the books in the trilogy the first one was conspiracy in kiev and then i don't know if this is book two or if countdown to cairo is book two i do wish series would share more this one might be book two um yeah so this series was okay i figured because it was a trilogy i wanted to continue it if it had been a longer series i probably wouldn't have okay then there are i think two or three books i think three actually books that i got out because so my favorite author one of my favorite authors this year has been jamie jo wright and so i decided to go on her instagram account and just request all the books that she shares so i don't know if she's like read these books or if you know she's been sent them and she hasn't read them yet but i requested them Oh, and I think actually, did someone, this one is The Witch's Daughter. Okay, now I actually can't remember. Did she have this one on her Instagram or someone asked me about it and I was like, oh, I'll get it from the library and read it and proof it. It might've been this one. There's a couple books that all kind of have like similar-ish covers with similar-ish font. This is in 1828 in Wessex and also present day England. So we got a dual timeline here, I think. Um, and something about witches and witch hunts and so we'll see um, then this one behind closed doors I think this one was on Oshina's list of like all the thrillers she's ever read this one I read the inside it's about like the perfect couple that looks so perfect um, you know does all the perfect things and but is it so perfect because it says 
why does she ne the woman never answer the phone? Why can she never meet for coffee? Why does she never seem to take anything with her when she leaves the house? Or why are there such high security metal shutters on the downstairs windows? So I'm kind of like in a thriller vibe. I don't know, been wanting to read a bunch of them lately. So I'm curious about this one. I don't think it would take me very long to read. So once again, another one I'm gonna try to prioritize. How many things can you prioritize before it, they don't become priority anymore? Uh, here, let's do this one. This is Fairest of All, A Tale of the Wicked Queen. Um, I actually don't remember. Oh, someone just finished reading this. Yes, someone told me they just finished reading this. So this is some kind of like Snow White retelling of sorts. I don't know, but I think I heard good things. So we'll see. And once again, oh, this, the words are really big and the margin, <laughs> margin, <laughs> oh, margins are big as well. So that wouldn't take very long. Another good one for a readathon. Maybe I'll just like put all my little books off to the side. All my like, I'll put all my fast reads over here. Okay. Oh, this is one that I definitely saw on Jamie Jo Wright's Instagram, The Widow of Pale Harbor. So I think this is, it has probably two timelines to my knowledge and kind of like gothic vibes. A town group by fear, a woman accused of witchcraft. Who can save Pale Harbor from itself? Okay, so we got like another witchy one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hester Fox, I think actually I have another one of her books. Um, yeah, I think there's another one in the stacks here as well. So, oh, so many books I want to get to. This one also, I just, I really like the cover. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. Okay, so then I got this one. This is Jamie Jo Wright's new book. Um, I got it in the mail, or mail. I got it from the library. And then I was like, mm, probably not going to read it because I asked for it for Christmas and I really like her books and I kind of just want to read my own copy. Or do I read this one and then just have my own copy anyway for the shelves? <sighs> Guys, the struggle is real. Um, but one question. I feel like her books, uh, I only have one of them here right now. They all have like a very similar cover and spine. And this one doesn't fit. I mean, I like the cover. It looks cool. But I it's just wish it matched with her other ones a little bit. Okay. I don't know. Should I read that one? Here, you tell me, should I read that one now or should I read it if slash when I get it for Christmas? Maybe I won't even get it for Christmas. That would be disappointing. We'll see. Uh, okay, so I saw this one and I don't remember requesting it or anything. How Rory Thorne destroyed the multiverse. Also, like the cover is not amazing. It's kind of cool, but not like I didn't get it because of the cover. So, uh, Rory Thorne is a princess with 13 fairy blessings, the most important of which is to see through flattery and platitudes. Oh, interesting, okay. Then her father is assassinated, her mother gives birth to a son, and Rory is betrothed to the prince of the distant world. Okay, interesting. I don't know. Where did I hear about this? Who, who got this out that made me want to request it? Sometimes I wonder if like, they accidentally put other people's books with mine, because I get them and I'm like, don't remember that one. This is this next one is kind of actually one like that as well. But I do think I really like the cover, so it was probably the cover that made me request it. This is Woven in Moonlight. Um, I really like the little sloth there and the animals. Um, this one is kind of like a Asian, um, a lush tapestry of magic, romance, and revolution, except it's built in a different language. Drawing inspiration from Bolivian politics and history. Okay, so never mind, not Asian. Yeah, I have no idea. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. Not necessarily one that I'm going to like pick up first, but it's all sounds all right, and the cover's pretty. This next one, someone told me to pick up. This is Firebird. I believe this is Christian sci-fi. Um, I don't remember much about it, and it doesn't have anything on the back which is annoying. I don't really care about the blurbs. I want to know about the book. So it says, born of the royal family, caught in a war she doesn't believe in, her destiny placed in the hands of the enemy. So if you're the one that told me about this, or if you've read this, um, let me know a little bit more so I can maybe be interested in picking it up. I also kind of have a thing against faces on the cover, and this cover is not working for me. 
see, I like, I don't mind people on the cover necessarily if their faces aren't showing. So this is the Kiss of Deception, uh, the Remnant Chronicles. I've heard a lot about this. I actually do think I started this on audio a long time ago. So this is a girl, Princess Leah. Uh, she is, she flees on her wedding day and um, she can't, she doesn't want to marry someone she's never met to secure a political alliance. So she's fed up and ready for a new life. So she flees to a distant village on the morning of her wedding. She settles among the common folk, uh, unaware that two of the stra two strangers arrive. One is the jilted prince and the other one is the assassin sent to kill her. Right, yes, that is, I don't remember if I started this book or not, but that does sound interesting. Um, so we'll see, I've heard good things about this series. <sighs> Guys, so many books, so many books. Definitely weigh in, let me know which ones I should prioritize. This is A Pinch of Magic. This is a middle grade book that I saw on Kaylin's video, I think, but she had a cooler cover. When I saw this one at the library, I was like, that's not the cover I wanted. Um, right, so Betty and her sisters, Fliss and Charlie, are each given a magical object, a carpet bag, a set of nesting dolls, and a mirror. And these gifts come with their own terrible secret. Their family is haunted by a deadly curse. Actually, that really sounds seems like something my daughter would really like. I might have to like give her this one and tell her to read this one. Oh, okay, okay, here's another one I don't remember requesting. This is The Court of Miracles. This is apparently YA, Never Steal from a Thief. I did read the inside. Um, it's set in France in 1829, following a failed revolution. And uh, this member of the Thieves Guild, Nina, can steal anything or anyone as she stole from the crown prince. To the vicious guild lord known as the Tiger, Nina is a mere nuisance. So he sets sights on her sister, Cosette. Um, nothing can stop him from having her. But there's one thing the Tiger did not account for, a rule which runs as true as iron and bone among the wretched, never steal from a thief. So it's apparently drawing inspiration from Les Mis and The Jungle Book. So I've never read The Jungle Book, uh, but I was forced to read Les Mis in grade eight and don't remember much at all, except candlesticks. So. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, then I got Enya Burning. I own book one in the series. It's called Goose Girl. really enjoyed it. It's like a retake on the Grimm's fairy tale. I think Enya Burning takes another fairy tale. Um, Shannon Hale for this series, she takes kind of like obscure fairy tales and how many times can I say fairy tale um, and makes them into like full-length stories. I really enjoyed Goose Girl and I bought book three, which is I think it's called River Secrets, uh, but I wanted to read Enya Burning first, which is book two, because they all follow different main characters, but I think they kind of like show up in each other's stories kind of thing. So we'll see what this one's about. When I will read it, who knows? Oh, yeah, because like I have to read this one. I finally got Holopox. I requested this one from the library back in February. This is book three in the Morrigan Crow, the Nevermore series. Um, I was enjoying the series. I read them both in January, I think. And now I kind of don't remember what was going on, but I want to read it. It looks huge, but from what I remember, well, I listened to them on audio, but it felt like a really quick listen. So I feel like it should be a pretty quick read. Um, Morgan Crow was born on like some the unluckiest day of the year or something. Pretty much on her 12th birthday or 11th or something, she was set to die, but something happened. Someone kind of took her away and she never did. And I want to continue the series. Okay, here is that other Hester Fox book I was talking about. This is Wit Witch. Oh, I can't even read now. Witch of Willow Hall. Uh, two centuries after the Salem witch trials, there's still one witch left in Massachusetts. You guys, I cannot say that word. Canadian. Um, but she doesn't even know it. Uh, just kidding. Not all Canadians can't speak. It's it's just me. Uh, so I wonder if this is like a second book. Oh no. So. Our other one here is The Widow of Pale Harbor. This is from the author of Witch in Willow Hall. So this one's first. Of Interesting. Okay, I'll read this one first. But yeah, like, these totally give me Jamie Jo Wright vibes, just the covers themselves. So I think they'd be really good. Okay, here's, here's a question for you. Do you, on your bookshelves, do you have your books like flush with a shelf or do you have them pushed all the way back? No. I have a bit of both because I have a toddler and kids and so they can't stay nice but OCD Chantel really likes them to be like flush and yeah 
when my kids move out, um, I'm going to be like majorly OCD. Okay, let's keep going here. The last time I lied, this is by Riley Sager. I hauled one of, oh you guys, Riley's a guy, right? I think you all told me, I'm pretty sure he's a guy. Um, one of their books um, last month, still haven't read it. Heard good things about that one, but everyone said this one was even better, I think. Um, so it's just some kind of thriller, possibly YA. Uh, two truths and a lie. Vivian, Natalie, Allison, and Emma played it all the time, but the games ended the night Emily, Emma, sleepily watched the others sneak out of the cabin into the darkness. The last she or anyone else saw of them was Vivian closing the cabin door, hushing Emma with a finger pressed to her lips. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we will see. I think the font is actually really small on this one. But I feel like these kind of books are so fast to read. I was hoping. I went through and I requested a bunch of Christmas books. And I'm just realizing now, none of them came in. So that means I have to go to the library sometime soon and get a bunch of Christmas books. When am I gonna read those? Hmm. Okay, then I got Deadline by Randy Alcorn. This is the first book in the series where I got book two in a, uh, from a thrift store or something in a thrift hall. And I thought I got it, book one from the library last month, but then it was a totally different book. But this is Deadline, don't know what it's about. Am I going to get to it? Who knows? Kind of a theme here. I'm not even going to look at it right now. There's too many other books here that are interesting to me. Um, next up is Forest of Souls. The picture is kind of creepy. Um, I have no family, no home. There's, there's tape here. I can read the word home. The tape was just in the way. No talent other than fighting. If I'm not to be the shadow, then I am nothing. I am tired of being nothing. After years of training to become the queen's next royal spy. Ooh, I always wanted to be a spy. Uh, this woman whose name I can't pronounce plans are derailed when she, the when shamans attack and kill her best friend. And then she somehow restores her friend to life. Hmm. The spy thing was interesting. I'm not so sure about the rest of it, but we'll see. Once again, no idea where I heard of that one. Oh, then I got The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Definitely heard about this on someone's video recently. Was it Tia? Maybe? I don't know. Um, honestly, it was like, it was a cover purchase, not purchase, cover request. Um, oh, Mary Jekyll alone and, you guys, it's the same tape, penniless, following her parents' dead death, quickly finds herself drawn into the secrets <laughs> this tape of her father's mysterious past. A clue leads her to believe that Edward Hyde, her father's former friend and murderer, may be nearby, and there still is a reward for information leading to his capture. A reward that would solve all of her immediate financial woes. Okay, I read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde earlier this year. Um, just for proof, this is the tape, okay? I'm not crazy. It's hard to read over the tape. Um, yeah, science fiction. I would like to, you know, dive more into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of things. Um, and then I got Everland, another one that I was like, don't remember requesting that one. It's, um, to die will be an awfully big adventure. Okay. Young adult. London has been destroyed in a blitz of bombs and disease. The only ones that have survived the destruction and outbreak of the deadly virus are children, among them 16 year old Gwen and her younger siblings. They spend their nights scavenging and their days avoiding the deadly marauders. The German army led by the cutthroat Captain Hans, long German name. Um, oh, Captain Hook is on the hunt for a cure. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Because his name is Captain Hank Otto Oswald, German last name. So H-O-O-K. Oh, I get it. Light bulb, drop the book. I hope I can be some comedic entertainment for you. The last book. Another one I don't remember requesting. A Dress for the Wicked. Sabotage is always in style. YA. True to its name, the sleepy town of Shy in upon, even upon Kent, is a place where nothing much happens. And for 18 years, Emmeline Watkins has feared that her future held that. Nothing. But then something happens. Uh, oh, design competition to girls from outside the stylish, okay, some kind of design competition. Honestly, it doesn't really sound like my kind of book. But, I don't know. Should I read it? Let me know. There we go.
I did it. I got it in there. Those are all the books I requested from the library lately. What should I read? I've honestly been kind of more drawn to my library books lately than the books that I own. For that reason, I'm going to like stop buying books. Um, but it's so hard when there's so many good ones to buy and to borrow. Like I just hardly can pick what to read next, which is kind of why I do my TBRs each month the way I do. For December, my plan is to make a deep TBR and I'm only going to pick books that I'm really excited about because it's December and that's what I want to do. So that's my library haul. Let me know what I should read. Um, come back next week to see which books I actually pick for my TBR. And thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>